Dark spruce forests frowned on either side of the frozen waterway. The trees had been stripped by a recent wind of their white covering of frost, and they seemed to lean toward each other, black and ominous in the fading light. A vast silence reigned over the land. The land itself was a desolation, lifeless, without movement. So lone and cold that the spirit of it was not even that of sadness. There was a hint in it of laughter, but of a laughter more terrible than any sadness. A laughter that was mirthless as the smile of the Sphinx. A laughter cold as the frost and partaking of the grimness of infallibility. It was the masterful and incommunicable wisdom of eternity, laughing at the futility and the effort of life. It was the wild, the savage, frozen-hearted, Northland wild. Mm -hmm.